before painting we have to necessarily clean the walls as far as walls are concerned we can classify into exterior and interior wall or surface let us talk about the cleaning of interior walls we may require the following uh, supplies like uh, drop cloths or plastic sheets then we should have some painters tape then you can have some mild detergent like trisodium phosphate then you must have sponges or cotton rags bucket of clean water then you must have uh, a ladder or steps to the plastic sheet or uh, drop cloths they protect your floors and furniture from any drips or splatters secondly the painters tape is useful to protect the edges and the areas you do not want to paint so it's called masking tape third one is the mild detergent agent so we can use this for cleaning grease grime or uh, stains and we may require some sponges or rags to apply the cleaning solution and scrub the walls some people use uh, mild scrubbing brushes also then you have to necessarily rinse your sponge or cotton rag in a clean water in the bucket then if necessary we need to reach some high areas where we need a stable ladder or aluminum uh, step stool then let us explain about the procedure see first of all the furnitures should be removed away from the walls if you cannot move it at least cover it with the drop cloths then we need to protect the floors also so you can lay down the drop cloths to protect the floor and you can use a painters a tape also to protect the baseboards you have to trim and any areas you you don't want to paint should be masked then you can use a duster or dry cloth to remove any loosely uh, held dust or cobwebs so this ensures a cleaner surface for the cleaning solution now we need to prepare the cleaning solution for general cleaning you can use a, a mixer of mild detergent and warm water for more stubborn stains especially in kitchen or bathrooms you may consider using a solution of tsp that is trisodium phosphate and you had to follow the manufacturer's instruction then you can test a small area before cleaning the entire wall test your cleaning solution first of all on a small space so that it should not damage the paint also because this alkali will be detrimental for the paint film so if it is not properly cleaned that itself will be troublesome now we need to clean the walls by using a sponge or a rag dipped into the cleaning solution and you have to wring out the excess water then gently scrub the walls work from the bottom always to avoid streaks pay extra attention to areas with stains and grease then wipe the walls with a clean damp sponge or a rag to remove any residual soap solution you have to change the water frequently to ensure effective rinsing then we must allow the walls to dry completely before painting Uh, normally it takes a few hours but it depends on the factors like humidity and ventilation 
Inspect for remaining issues. Once the walls are dry, you must inspect for any remaining stains or any issues. If needed, spot cleaning those areas. Then if necessary, we may have to apply primer. If you have cleaned always stains or if you are painting over a dark color, you have to apply a primer before painting. It will help achieve a more even finish. Cleaning the exterior walls is an important part of maintaining your home's appearance and protecting its surfaces. The specific cleaning method may vary depending on the type of exterior material, the level of dirt or stains and the climate in your area. So we can use some pressure washer or even garden hose with a spray nozzle where you have got high pressure cleaning. Then you can use a soft bristle brush or broom for scrubbing. 